To show how gravity works on Earth and in the skies, Newton designed a thought experiment. He imagined firing a cannon from the top of an extremely tall mountain. From his first law of motion, he knew the cannonball would travel in a straight line at a constant speed forever. But gravity pulls the ball downward. If its speed is low, the cannonball hits the earth near the mountain. The higher the speed, the farther away the ball lands. If you throw it faster, it comes farther away, even faster, farther away. Even faster, it may go a thousand miles. Even farther, it may actually go almost halfway around the earth and there hit the earth. Newton imagined that if its speed were high enough, the cannonball would travel all the way around the Earth and settle into orbit. The orbit of the cannonball around the Earth was a balancing act between the cannonball's tendency to fly off in a straight line and its being yanked back towards the center of the Earth continuously by the force of gravity. So in Newton's picture of the world, there were two things. The natural tendency of an object to travel in a straight line, which was true on Earth or in space or anywhere, and there was the attraction of gravity, which was true on the surface of the Earth, and it was true up in space. Newton's breakthrough was to see that the moon's orbit around the Earth and a cannonball's motion on Earth were governed by the same law of gravity.